My name is David, and I'm an educator here at the New York Hall of Science. I'm here to tell you about a new educational resource we are offering to teachers and students. In partnership with Target, we have developed a field trip aid called My Science Journal. It is part of the Target Field Trips Reading, Writing, and Inquiry program, which provides free field trips to Title I New York City public schools in Queens and Brooklyn. If you're planning a targeting science field trip to the New York Hall of Science, download a copy of the My Science Journal in order to familiarize yourself with the activities your class will be doing. We also offer educator exhibit guides that provide information about other exhibits. The Science Journal focuses on two exhibits. One of them is the Hidden Kingdoms exhibit. They will explore various microbes and choose two of their favorites to draw on their journals. In their own words, they will describe the similarities and differences between them. This approach allows the students to construct their own experience while being guided by the exhibit. At the end of each activity, we provide key terms and post-trip activities to be completed in the classroom and at home. Kids love playing sports. Take advantage of this interest and slip a little science in there. The next stop is an exhibit called the Pitching Mound. Here, students will learn about the evolution of the baseball and the technology that led to developing the one we use today. They will also have the opportunity to conduct their own mini-study on the science behind what makes some balls travel faster than others. The exhibit provides them with a softball, a baseball, and a tennis ball. First, the students will make predictions about which ball they think will travel the fastest. They will throw each ball and record the speed. Afterwards, they can reflect on their predictions compared to the outcomes. In all sports, reaction time is a key element to a player's success. They must anticipate their next move before they make it. Have your students test out their reaction time on the reaction time exhibit, which simulates the starting line of a drag race. They watch the starting lights, and when they turn green, they put the pedal to the metal. The exhibit records how long it takes the students to react and displays the results. What makes a basketball bounce? Why do we play basketball on wood courts? Your students will investigate these questions and a whole lot more at the Bounce Back exhibit. Here, the students bounce a basketball on several different surfaces in order to determine which one causes the ball to bounce the highest. They are encouraged to measure the height of each bounce by using their body as a measuring device. This provides your students with an exciting kinesthetic experience while inspiring them to maximize their resources. When designing the Science Journal, our focus was centered on the learner and encouraging science literacy. In order to achieve this, we provide multiple entry points to our exhibitions through interaction, reading, writing, reflecting on their discoveries, and documenting their experiences. These practices are integral to the scientific process, and with encouragement from adults and peers, it could create lifelong curiosity. And remember to remind your students to use the Visit NYSI for free Targeting Science Family Pass. Good for general admission for up to two adults and three children. It is located on the last page of the journal. Thank you for participating in the Targeting Science Reading, Writing, and Inquiry program. And we hope you enjoy your trip to the New York Hall of Science.